Hi guys, welcome back. This is part 13 of the troll video. In this video, we're going to be working a little bit on his forehead and also going to be adding some hair. Okay, so you can see the difference in his brow up here. And I did that just by using a strand of yarn. You don't have to do this part, you can skip it. This is the part where you'll be playing around with his face features if you want to add a little bit of a different look. So all I do is just pinch the top of his head. And now I'm going to hold that shape with my strand of yarn. Okay, just knot these off here. Okay, now that won't pull through. Now we can go. I'm going to, instead of wrapping it around the outside, I'm going to go over like that. And pull tight. I'm going to go back in. Pulling tight and back in. Just going to knot off here. Carry it through and cut free. Okay, now we're going to add some hair, and I'm going to show you different techniques of adding hair, and you do not have to do it the same way I've, I've done it here. These are just different styles that I threw together just for fun, but you can play around with this and do your own thing absolutely. But I'm going to show you how to, how to do different techniques, and then you can take what you need and then add the hair that you want to add. There's Willie. Here's Nelson. He's got braids. Cute little guy. And Elvis. He's got the cool hair. All right, so we're going to do Elvis last, and I'm going to show you how to do Willie first, and then we'll work on Nelson. So Willie has, his hair is like a mohawk, but it's standing up off the top of his head. And like I said, you don't have to do it this way. You can add hair right to his head, right to the very top of his head. You don't need to add anything uh, first, but I'm going to show you how to get that little bit of extra height on top of his head and then we'll add the hair. I added two rows of half double crochet on the very top of the head. So I'm going to take the yarn, the same color that I made the troll with, the same color as the body, and I went right in line with the back of the ears, and I'm going to make two ridges, one here and one here. Yeah, I'm just going to pinch and go through. I'm going to pull the yarn through and chain one. In the same space, I'm going to put a half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the same space, pull the yarn through. Now I have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there is a half double crochet. So I'm going to do a line of those right up to the top of his head. Or yarn over before going in. Three loops, pull through, yarn over, okay now I can finish off, bring the yarn tail through that loop, so there's one, and now I'm going to do another one. I can start up here and go down, doesn't matter pinch the top and I want to go right beside it and pull the yarn through and don't worry about it being totally even and making it perfect because you're not going to even see this this is going to be hidden underneath that yarn hair okay chain one and then the same space make a half double crochet so the only thing difficult about this is it's awkward to hold on to yarn over go back in the same space make a half double crochet All right, now break free. 
So we got two ridges there. Get rid of your yarn tails. Just, and remember, you don't have to do this part. You can just add strands right to the very top of the troll's head. You don't have to do any half double crochets or make any ridges at all. This just gives an extra bit of height to the mohawk, which I liked. So, and of course, when I show a pattern and I have something in the picture, I want to show you how I've done it. So, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so, to get the hair strands ready, remember to make a bundle. So, I just loosely wrap around my hand a number of times. Alright, cut through your bundle. And now you have strands to work with. And we're going to pull it through. I'm going to pull a strand through every stitch going up. And this time, instead of double knotting them, because I don't need to, these are going to sit on my shelf. I'm not worried about them coming apart. You could put a little glue in there if you wanted to, if you're worried about it. Or just pull the strands through that loop and pull tight. I've never had an issue with these coming apart, but I know some people, um, they do get a little worried because if a child did play with this and did play with that little knot there, they could easily pull that strands out and then you know they become a choking hazard. So so you can double knot these, you can pull them through like I am, or you could put a little glue in there in each one. Take the time to put a little bit of glue in those knots. Alright, and I said one strand through, but actually when you pull one strand through pull the second one through the same stitch because I was just looking at this guy and his hair was looking a little bit fuller than mine was as I was halfway through and then I remembered ah I pulled two strands through each of those um, stitches okay so now we can trim this up okay and now you can take a couple of these and just knot them together on each side one from each ridge and just knot it together and then pull those ridges together you don't have to do the whole thing, just a couple to hold that, those ridges together. Okay, and now you can trim it up shorter. And if you wanted to, you could add a few more strands in there, make it fuller if you wanted to. But that's how we get it to stand way up on top of his head. So now I'm going to show you the next hairstyle. Okay, and Nelson has rooted hair as well. And his is uh, also attached to a ridge on top of his head. And I added a lot more hair strands than I did to this guy here, to Willie. And his hair obviously is a lot longer. See, I didn't add any in the back. Nothing in the back. It's all on the very top. And that's a ridge that I added on top of his head. And then I rooted hair on the bottom of the ridge, on the side of the ridge, on the very top of the ridge, and then on this side, on the side of the ridge, and on the very bottom. So he got like different sections added, so his hair is quite full. And then I added some braids. So I won't show you how I added the hair because, it's, like I said, it's the exact same way we did Willie. But I'm going to show you how to do the braids. This is bulky yarn, so it's going to give me a little bit of a thicker braid. So I cut six strands, and they're pretty long, you can see. You want them too long instead of too short. We're going to find the middle, and I'm going to tie off the middle with a strand of yarn the same color. And I'm going to double knot it. I'm going to pull real tight. I can do this off camera real easy because I can just stick my, my uh, strands anywhere. You can use a safety pin and attach the, these strands to a safety pin and do it to your couch or anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to use four strands for each part of the braid. So I'm going to separate this into sections of four. So there's four strands. And now I'm just going to make a braid. And I'm sure most of you know how to do that. So now I'm just going to tie off the end. Another set of hands would be so nice, hey? 
pull it tight. I'll double knot it. There. So the tie off, you're going to use that to sew your braid in place. And I decided on going right on the side here. So I'm going to go through. So I'll bring the other one through, but I'll go through and out through a different stitch hole so I can knot them together. Then I can just leave them hanging in the head. Double knot and I pull tight. Okay, I'll sew the other one in now. I had another smaller braid that I had made off camera, so I decided not to waste it and just throw it on there. So his braids are in. I think he needs a little bit of bangs in the front, so I'm going to pull some strands through. If you have a hard time with your crochet hook, you can use your yarn needle and just pull them through that way. I think I'll knot these ones in the front. Okay, I pulled a bunch through the front and then I knotted them off. And now I'm just going to cut them up shorter. I had some elastic, so I put some elastics in the end of his bridge just for color. Alright, and Elvis, he doesn't have any ridges added. His hair is sewn in on the top and sewn in on the bottom. There's nothing in the middle and there's no ridges on top. So I'm going to show you now how we do his hair. Alright, so we're going to start with making bundles and we want the bundles to be the same length. Now these ones are going to be the length of the head. So I'm sewing on top of the head and I'm sewing at the bottom of the head. So I want them to be one length and about that long. And you need a piece of yarn cut for tying off. So cut a good length, you don't want it too short. Just set it aside and now make your bundle. I already know which length mine's going to be. Put that long there. I'm just going to wrap a number of times. There's my bundle. And I'm going to tie off the middle. And pull tight. And I'll double knot it. Okay, so there's the top. Now I want to tie off the bottom as well. Okay, so I got a number of bundles to start with here. And we are going to start sewing at the top of the head. So I'm just going to thread my yarn needle with one of these yarn tails. And I believe on Elvis I started right in the middle, in the center. So I'm just going to take my yarn tail. I'll just go right here. I'm going to take the other one and go in and through, in through a different and out through a different stitch hole so I can knot these two yarn tails off. This guy has no legs so he won't stand up for me. Okay, now I'm going to thread the other yarn tails. I'll do one at a time and then pull that Pull that down and in and through. Now I'll do the other thread tail and in and through a different stitch hole. Now I'll knot these off. And now these yarn tails that I've knotted in place, I'm going to carry these through the head and cut them free so they're just not loose on the head. So we can do two at a time. They're already knotted so I'm just going to carry them through. I'm going to sew in another bundle right beside it and do the same thing in and out through a stitch hole and the other one and repeat the same steps. Okay, to make that awesome little poof on top of his head, I made a bundle extra long and now I'm going to sew it in the bottom first, in the back of the head at the bottom. 
And I'm not, I didn't tie off the one end, I only tied off one. Okay, I'm going to sew it into the back of the head. I've got a bit of a mess here. Like I said, I'm not keeping this hair in here, so uh, when I'm finished filming, i got to take it all out again. Okay, and I'm going to take the other end, I'm going to put it over top the head. Just lay it over top the middle. So I'm just going to bring a strand of yarn underneath that, through the head, underneath that wrap. Pull it through. Pull one strand through so I can tie these off. And now I'm going to tie them off. Now I'll bring that bundle back. I'm going to bring my strand of yarn down just a little bit, just over a little bit, right about there. Because i got to tie this off again. Okay, I'm going to lay that poof back on top of the head again. And then tie it down here, right there. Okay, and then I'll lay this over, and I can cut those strands, actually give it a little bit of a haircut too while I'm at it. So when you do the tie-offs, just make sure that you're double knotting and everything better than I did, because like I said, I'm pulling all of this out, so I don't want to make it permanent. So that's how I created this little poof in the front of his head, and you can see all the bundles are the same length and they're tied off just under his neck. The bottom's tied here, top's tied here, and then we just added the puff. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here and I'm going to send you over to the next one where we're going to finish off his face.